it all started 11 years ago here in Perintian Island, Malaysia. And basically, in this bay, um, there's just water, sand and rocks. And after 11 years, the coral propagation research has created this reef where people come and snorkel and dive and it's actually benefiting the local community here and to get such results I worked without funding it was difficult and to be able to sustain I work as a dive master and also sometimes I sell drinks on the beach with my pet uh, monkey named Abu. The research is the main reason I am here and the reason I choose Perintian Island also because of the job available and the environment that is right for the research. So even though I did not get any funding for this project, I still continue on throughout the years because I believe this coral propagation project can make a difference, not, not just here, but throughout the region where coral reefs are degrading in a very rapid pace and we need uh, a project that's effective to counter this destruction. Before we actually succeed with the coral propagation, um, I did a lot of experiments. One of the experiments is the use of PVC pipe structures. The PVC pipe structures are not readily accepted by coral to grow on it and it's very difficult to get them to survive on the pipe. The second disadvantage is that PVC pipe only lasts about eight years. After eight years it starts to crumble and pushed by the current and it get piled up somewhere and it looks like a rubbish dump. The second type of coral propagation or basically artificial reef is called a cheese block. The cheese block is made of concrete which is treated so that the pH of the concrete and seawater is almost the same so that to enhance coral growth onto it. There is no problem with the structure except that it is costly. The big ones is about 25,000 US dollars. Finally, the third uh, structure that we experiment is the steel structure. It is possible to grow coral on steel structure, but still because of the visible structure is not attractive. It is not possible to actually sell a location filled with steel structures, even though there is coral growing on it, as a tourism product. In the end, we have to experiment with natural rock. It attracts more life compared to the other experiments. I do uh, different experiments in different locations as well. So as the other researchers, they also do uh, their own approach according to the geographical location. Everywhere in the ocean is not the same. So there's no one system that is successful in all locations. Some location requires a stronger structure because there's strong current, strong wave. Uh, I just I came up from the last dive at the site where I planted coral 11 years ago. I was really happy and to see all the corals and thriving and fishes and living things are feeding inside it. The coral propagation project should be this way. People should plant coral and make it thriving. And you can see today, after 11 years of the project, you can see people are snorkeling and scuba diving in a reef that begins just water, sand and rocks. I basically live for this 
for this project. I live for this project. I work in the ocean. I, I research the ocean. I teach people about the ocean. And I hope that what I have done will, will benefit everybody in this, in this area. Yeah.